We're talking again with Joe McNally, this time about that very important subject as photographers, creativity. What are some of the hurdles you've had to overcome to have this amazing creative life? Amazing is not a constant state of affairs. <laughs> Despondency uh, creeps in. What we were just talking about, the sense of how hard this is, sometimes can be a little bit overwhelming. One thing that you have to get past, I think, as a photographer, uh, and again, anything I'm saying, obviously, is just pertinent to me as a, you know, I'm espousing a personal opinion, my own experience, you know. It doesn't apply to everybody. But one thing I find is handy is to be comfortable with uncertainty. This is not a lock solid thing to do. I have been comfortable with a certain level or sometimes a major level of uncertainty for the better part of 40 years. You know, you have to get used to the fact where you don't know where your next check is coming from, that you don't know what you'll be doing next month. You don't know if January will be busy uh, or things will go dead in the summer. You have to plan ahead now, especially you have to be very proactive and uh, get rid of a lot of self-doubt as a mantra. I might suggest, you know, it's very familiar to most people. One door closes, another one opens. Because you will find closed doors a lot as a photographer. You will find no as an answer more than you will find yes. So another thing that you have to achieve or kind of uh, embrace, and it doesn't get talked about too often, is durability, mental physical, emotional durability. This is oftentimes not, uh, you know, things come at you so hard and so fast and in such a negative way, uh, this is not for the faint of heart. If you're in this, you're in it for the long term. And your, your, your body, your mind, your emotions, your sense of risk, your sense of uh, financial kind of like, you know, whoops, <laughs> you know, uh, just has to be, um, you have to have faith, I guess, you know, and that's a big hurdle for perhaps some young photographers I've met over the course of time or just getting into this field. I always preach, just relax, keep working hard. When things are at their worst, that is oftentimes the, the opportunity or the necessity that is incumbent on you to be at your most aggressive. Uh, it's not a business where you can retreat. You have to keep pushing yourself creatively uh, to find work, to do good work. And when you have opportunities to get behind the camera, you have to um, have faith in yourself. I'm going to ask you about what have been your most successful actions for putting creativity into your life. I'm really fond of Albert Einstein because he said, and this was one of the most brilliant people on earth, right? And he said, imagination is better than knowledge. And my imagination has been a refuge for me for many years. It's kept me sane. It's like a rabbit hole I can run down when things are not maybe going particularly well. And it also makes a bridge to photographs I'd like to create. Uh, you know, the wonderful thing about being a photographer is that you can imagine something and then you make it real by photographing it. So you have to have an active, playful sense of imagination. I think you have to retain a certain childlike embrace of the world where things have to be new. Things have to be fresh. You have to be sympathetic to your fellow human beings. You have to also understand that they come first. Uh, and that's something that is very hard for people to relinquish. And that can impede your growth as a photographer. Lots of folks like a certain measure of control over their lives. I get that. You know, I understand, to be sure. But as a photographer, you can't approach a subject and um, evince passion for their story and then put conditions on it. You can't go to somebody and say, like, I'm really compelled by you. I'm really fascinated by your life, your times, whatever it is that you do, your line of work, whatever it may be that is fascinating to you. But then you can't. And then the person says, well, OK, I guess you can come with me and photograph me. And then you can't in turn say, OK, that sounds great. But, you know, I got to pick the kids up at school. And then I have a meeting later on this afternoon. And then I've got this breakfast thing tomorrow. So how about tomorrow at two o'clock in the afternoon? I'll be passionate about your life then. No, no. You have to get on the boat whether you know where that boat is going or not. If you 
uh, approach someone with a camera and say, I really want to do this, then you really have to want to do it. So you let your own life uh, go back in the wake, you know, it drifts downstream, you know, yeah, I, I got bills to pay. Screw that. You know, um, the subject, well, you know, what we do is we go out to this club and we stay at two until two o'clock in the night, you know, or two, two a.m. in the morning. You're like, oh, man, you don't want to do that. But if you want to do part of their story, then you suck it up and you do it. I mean, this is this is just a necessity. There's some really formidable photographers I've I've met that their own personal lives are a bit of a mess because they're so concerned about photographing other people's lives. Are there any common misconceptions that you would like to dispel about either being a photographer or a creative in general? You know, there's some simple ones that, you know, you can um, reassure people of. And you've heard this time and again, uh, you know, that uh, being a photographer is not, you know, first class air tickets to Saint Tropez. And, you know, having umbrella laden drinks by poolside waiting for golden hour. Well, at least that's not been my life. The idea that creativity is a faucet you turn on and off, I think is wrong. I think uh, creativity stems from oftentimes a lot of hard work, a lot of kind of banging your head against the wall, grinding it out, finding a path, studying looking at other pictures, reading, you know, embracing your subjects, uh, you know, being tuned into the world, because sometimes things will hit you, you know, and that will give you the path, uh, you know, that old, you know, 99% perspiration, 1% inspiration kind of uh, ratio could be in effect at any given time. Joe, this has been fantastic. Is there any final advice you'd like to leave our audience with in terms of getting on top of their creative game? Everybody's path with a camera is unique. Um, and I think one thing that you have to understand, it's, it is a roller coaster and you have to hang on tight. And one of the ways that you can hang on is to love this fiercely. Because if you don't truly love doing it, then it's really just not worth doing because it is pretty hard to do. It's an uncertain life. It doesn't lead to riches. Um, it's not a path to glory or anything like that. I mean, photographers can take all the awards that they've won, you know, and the, the people I know who are realistic about it, I've won a fair number of awards over time, God knows. Doesn't get me a better table in restaurants, you know. You know, your average person on the block really doesn't care. You know, uh, so you have to walk into a situation and be um, as down to earth as you possibly can be and accept the fact that your chances are, you know, fair game. It's like it's like playing a sport. You know, sometimes you're on a hot streak. Sometimes you're cold as ice and you just have to weather that storm. Well, Joe, thank you. These words mean a lot, not just to me, but I'm sure to the entire community out there. And on that note, thank you, Joe, for joining us. And You're welcome. I encourage you guys to get out and buy a copy of this book. You'll see the eye right here, and you'll see the book coming up. A lot of the things I talked with Joe about are actually covered in the book. Visualization, working hard, getting over that idea that you're going to fail, all that stuff that goes on in your head. Move that away, and this book actually talks about how to do that. And be sure to subscribe to this video because you're not going to want to miss any of these amazing episodes. And remember to get out and capture your own images of life.